Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the Japanese drugstore makeup, skincare, beauty products that I have been using for the last one year and eight months now. Before filming this video, I was really hesitant to do this video, to make a video about Japanese beauty products because my concern was that maybe you don't want to buy it in Philippines. But then I found out while searching online, you can actually buy all the products that I'm going to be mentioning there in the Philippines. So I'm going to put all the links to the online sellers down below on the description box. So the first thing I did when I came to Japan is to search for Japanese makeup products because I don't know about the Japanese skincare, beauty, drugstore, whatever. I don't know about it because I have been a fanatic of the Korean makeup products. This is the first one that I searched for. Sunblock. Tip number one, no one should go out the house without a sunblock on. Mababae ka, malalaki ka, you should wear a sunblock. You should wear a sunblock, especially dyan sa Philippines. Now it's too sunny. Because if not, the sun can give you wrinkles, dark spots. Pag may dark spots na kayo, pag may scars na kayo, pag exposed kayo sa sunlight na without sunblock, it's gonna darken your spots more. I cannot go outside without a sunblock. The first product I'm gonna be sharing is sunblock. It's the Biore, 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 Biore. It's the Biore UV Aqua Rich Watery Essence SPF 50 Plus, PA Plus, 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 Gummy Plus. I've tried when I came here. The first sunblock I tried was the Anessa, because I raved in yun ng mga beauty bloggers. But then Anessa was too expensive. I think it was two thousand yen. It was okay. It was watery, hindi siya gel-like ang consistency niya. And then after the Anessa, kasi nga namahalan ako, nag-search pa ako more on the best sunblock here in Japan. So I um, found this. Ever since I used this product, hindi na ako nag-switch to other sunblock. Hindi na ako nag-venture out to some other Japanese uh, sunblocks because nagustuhan ko na talaga siya. It is not heavy on the skin. It didn't break me out. And it is cheap. And what else? Hindi siya greasy. It didn't leave a white cast or a gray cast on my skin. I've also asked my friends yung nabigyan ko nito. And they told me they really like the product. Even men. Because I have one friend. He's a guy. And he liked this product. So I'm gonna show you how the product looks like. Okay, focus tayo. Okay, there. Yan. Parang gel. Parang gel yung consistency niya. Yan. Na, it stands by its name. Because once you spread it, it, it feels watery. There. Yan. Diba? Wala siyang cast. Walang white cast. So, the next product isn't really a Japanese product. But, after researching about it, I found out that this product first at first was only distributed here in Japan. It's an American brand. It's the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion Plus. They distributed this product only in Japan before. They made this formulation for Japanese skin. But now I believe you can purchase this even in the Philippines because last December I went home to the Philippines and I found I found this product in the clinic counter. So you can buy this in the clinic counter all over the world, I guess, now. So I just put it here since it's somehow a Japanese product. When I first came here to Japan, it was autumn. And here in my area, it's one of the driest regions here in Japan. So when I came to Japan, I broke out a lot. I broke out a lot. Kaya nag nagkaakni ako. I didn't know why. If it was because of the weather, if it was because of the skincare products I've been using. After reading a lot of articles, I came across this product. It moisturized my skin. I didn't have dry patchy skin after using this. It didn't break me out. It's not heavy on the skin. It doesn't have a smell. So that's a plus. Because if you have sensitive skin, fragrance can break you out and fragrance can irritate your skin. I've been using this for almost two years now. I think this is already my fifth bottle if I'm not mistaken. So that's why I like this product. So if you have dry sensitive skin like me, you should try this product. I use this not only in the winter but whole year round now. 
because okay naman din siya on humid countries like the Philippines. Okay, the next product is an eye makeup remover. Vivesta eye makeup remover. Wait, let me read. This product, I think this is my second bottle and I have no issues with it. I like it. It removes even the harshest makeup product like mascara. So what I do when I have like heavy mascara, I put the product in a cotton pad and then like that. I do it like this. So since um, waterproof mascaras are really hard to take off at the end of the day, nilalagay ko lang muna siya ganyan after a minute pag nasok na yung eyelashes ko with the product I softly slowly remove the eye product so if you're looking for um, an eye makeup remover I can highly recommend this moving on now let's go to makeup so the first makeup I'm gonna be sharing is an eyebrow gel or an eyebrow mascara it's the heavy rotation coloring eyebrow I like this exact color because it's ash brown. It's not dark brown. So let's try. So, so that you can see how I do it. What I like about this product is the color. I think it has two colors. Dark brown and ashy brown. I think I got the this one. Number three. Oh. Number three. So maybe there are three colors. I like it because it tames my eyebrows. It holds my eyebrows in place. Hindi naman siya ganun katigas. It's not like the other products, eyebrow gels, na pag na dry na yung product, tumitigas siya. So it's not like that. My eyebrows are still soft, but it stays in place. Okay, moving on. The next product is an eyeliner. It's the Dolly Wink Eyeliner in color brown. For everyday use, I use brown, but if I want, if I go for a full face makeup, then I use a black eyeliner. It's a brush type. It's the easiest eyeliner to apply. It dries up quickly. It's easy to remove. You just use an eye makeup remover and it um, when you sweat out, it doesn't it doesn't bleed, it doesn't run. It's really good. So if you're in Japan or if you're interested in purchasing um, a brown eyeliner, this eyeliner is really good. So the next product is another eyeliner. It's a black eyeliner this time. It's the Heavy Rotation Eye Liquid Eyeliner. It's a brush type. So let's compare the Dolly Wink and the Heavy Rotation. Dolly Wink Actually, parehas lang sila, but I think heavy rotation has a finer tip, as you can see. But um, the base of the applicator, the brush applicator, is just the same. The feel is just the same. I don't have issues with application for these two eyeliners. I really like them. So, like the Dolly Wink, the heavy rotation doesn't bleed even in humid conditions. Even if I sweat out, it doesn't bleed or it doesn't run. It's easy to remove and it lasts all day. It's even better than the Clio eyeliners I've tried before. Clio, what else? All the Korean eyeliners, I've bought them. I've bought them, pen type, felt type, brush type. But I've, the application is just really hard. I didn't like it. So Japanese eyeliners, for me, for me, are better than the Korean ones, especially these two. The next product is this... Um, she say the eyelash curler. I have a friend, I have a Korean friend. When she came to Japan last summer, I toured her around. At that time, she was on vacation, she was with me, and she didn't have any eyelash curler with her. So I lent this to her, and she liked it in an instant. She said it's really different from all the eyelash curlers she has tried before. Right then and there, on that day, we went to Don Quixote and she purchased this eyelash curler because she liked it so much. Now let's go to mascara. It's the Heroin Make Long and Curl Mascara Super Waterproof. So this product is already very popular in the beauty blogosphere. I really like it when I used it, when I tried this. I didn't purchase any mascaras in Japan 
ever again. It really holds the curl of the lashes really well throughout the day. What else? It has fibers, I think. Na, that's why it like extends my really sparse and really short eyelashes. It gives me volume. This is no doubt better than all of those mascaras I've tried so far. So I think this is already my fourth or fifth two. Ayan, sorry guys ha, medyo hindi maganda yung pagka-apply ng mascara because I used falsies and then eyelash glue and then dumikit yung eyelash glue sa lashes ko. I really have short eyelashes, really sparse, but then with the um, heroin make, I think my fibers siya, kaya na-extend niya yung eyelashes ko. Ayan yung effect ng heroin make on my eyelashes. The last product I will share to you is a translucent powder from Cezanne. Cezanne? I'm not sure. Translucent powders are really popular. I've been wanting to buy the Wet n Wild translucent powder because beauty vloggers have been raving about it. I wanted to buy it but it's not available here in Japan. I searched for Cosmo, not Cosmo, but Cosmo, Cosmo, a blog in Japan. The Cosme, it's the Cosme, it's the Cosme Beauty ranking. This product has been ranked number one in the last two months. That's why I purchased it. So it's this. When you open it, it's like this. Para my oops. Ayan. So this is a translucent powder, and I think it's a dupe to the Wet and Wild one. It doesn't build up coverage at all. So even if I put now, like that, walang coverage. Na mabi build. What I like about this product is that it's really light on the skin. When I wear a heavy coverage makeup foundation, I tend to normally just use a translucent powder because I don't want to build up any more coverage after the foundation. That's it you guys. I hope you like this video. Please thumbs up, like this video, comment down below if you have any questions. Please subscribe to my channel. I am still new to YouTube so please your support will really help me a lot. Thank you guys and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!